Hey, just your friendly local librarian here to tell you a little bit about the Sora app and all of the ebooks and audiobooks that are available for you to uh, sign out for free from there um, with your Pamina Trails user account. So, um, first of all, you're going to go to the App Store, whatever that is for your device, uh, Microsoft, Apple, or Google Play, and you're going to search for Sora, S-O-R-A, and when it has downloaded, you're going to get this little blue guy with red shoes, he's very cute, um, and you're going to open it up and you're going to have to find our library to sign into. So the easiest way to do that is to look at the bottom of the screen and it's going to say, I have a setup code. So you're going to go to there and you're going to type in our divisional code, which is P Pemina, P-E-M-B-I-N-A-C-A, -A, um, and with no spaces or anything. So P-E-M-B-I-N-A-C-A, -A, um, and then you can click get started. Um, that will ask you to next sign in. Um, so you're going to click on this button, you're going to make sure you give the app permission to do that, and it's going to take you to a login page where you're going to log in with the same username that you use on all school things. So uh, OneDrive, Edsby, whatever, a computer, um, you are going to um, type in your username, but not the email address part, not the at smail, just stop at your username, that's the end. And then you're going to type in your password and wait a minute, I should not do that on screen capture because you're all going to see, so I, instead I'm not going to type anything, I'm going to just use that to get in there so that I don't share my password with everybody. Um, so you'll enter yours, you'll hit submit, and then it's going to take you into the app. Um, so there are a few things you start off on your home pages that so you don't have any assignments right now. You can see your words, um, but the best place is really the second from the, the left on the bottom is your search. That's where you're going to find books. So you've got the option of just sort of scrolling through this way. You can look for some books that are there temporarily, the Harry Potter uh, books and audiobooks that are available right now in many, many different languages. Or you can search by category. So I can see here that we've got uh, 150 juvenile fiction books that I could choose from. You can see that some have little audio books beside them. Um, you can see that the ones that don't are just novels. Or I can go back here and I can go to the very top where it says collections and I can look for books that are available now or books that are available in audiobook or just new ebook addiction uh, uh, editions I can look for stuff that way now say for example that I decide that I would like to take out this insignificant events in the life of a cactus I can select borrow on it or I could choose to just listen to a sample but now this book is signed out to me and I can hit play and I can listen to the book for as long as I want um, now, you might want to know, how do I find that book later? Well, you're going to go on the other side of the little round circle part there. There's, a li there's three little books. Um, these are where you can find all of the books that you've got signed out. Um, so this is where afterwards I can um, go if I uh, and um, listen to the book. So I can choose to open it, I can renew it if I need to, I can return it, I can mark as done, I can make notes of things that I'd like, I can look up information about the book. Um, there's just all kinds of things I can do there. Um, I can open it, there we go. I'm going to go back to my bookshelf and I'm going to, I'm finished with this book now, it's been a long time, and I'm going to return it so that somebody else can have it. So I am returning it. Now, we also have ebooks that are available here. So I've got uh, The Strange Case of Oregon Yoda that I'd already signed out. I can choose to open it. Um, and you can see that it remembered I was on page 102, which is pretty cool. I can click off here. And then one of the neat features of an ebook that a regular book doesn't have is that if I've got a regular book and I press on a word, nothing happens. Um, but if I I'm in an ebook and I need to look up a word, I can click on it. Now let's try. I can choose to um, define it, highlight it, or search it. So maybe I'm going to choose to highlight it because I want to remember this word later. Um, or I could make a note about it. Um, discuss in book meeting. Very good note. 
um, and then I can say that. Or I could choose to um, say, for example, I don't know this word. I can define it, and it will pop up with what a definition is. Super handy um, to have for um, looking up books. So, oh nice, and then I got an achievement. There are actually a whole bunch of achievements you can make here. Um, so, and if you want to look what those are, you can go to your person on the side, and it'll show you that right now I've got 7 out of 20 achievements, but I've got a whole bunch more that I could get and try to work my way towards. So that's a little bit about the SOAR app, hopefully enough to get you started and uh, look around your way. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial, and it's your friendly local librarian signing off for now.